Nicholas. Joining us now is Representative Masha Blackburn, who was in the hearing, asked some terrific questions. She joins us now from the camera right there on Capitol Hill. Uh, Ms. Blackburn, again, thank you very much indeed for taking time out to come and join us. I thought you asked the most poignant question of the day, which is, you have two constituents in Tennessee, they've had their cancel their policy totally cancelled. You as Ms. Sebelius, what are they supposed to do? What was her answer? Well, and she continues to say, well, they can get better policies, but the point is this. And of course, Stuart, you notice that they are nuancing their story now to try to get around this falsehood. If you like what you have, you can keep it. And so she's saying, well, they get a better policy, this, that, and the other. But the point that I made was this. Look, set that aside. You cannot keep what you had, even if you like it and it fits your needs. We've got 28,000 Tennesseans who have lost their policy, and some people want to drive a Ford, not a Ferrari. Some people don't want to be sipping Chardonnay from a crystal stem. They want to be drinking beer from a red Solo cup. This, you know? This is, this is a central point of the discussion today. Yes, Mrs. It is. Sebelius is basically saying, n never admitting that people are being forced off the policies which they choose, always saying, well, it's a better policy that we're making them take. And that's a fundamental distinction here. How's it go, Ms. Blackburn? That is exactly right. See, she is doubling down and tripling down on this point that it is a mandate. They are mandating the individual to buy something that they say is better. And it's because it is their, the federal government's decision. And so they continue to force this. Ms. Buckman, stay there for a second, please. One quick One comment. Question. You know, that not only do people want to keep their beer, as she said, maybe they can't afford the champagne that the government's forcing onto them. Right. Uh, Ms. No, Blackwood. That's exactly right. Yes. Okay. Uh, how would you sum up? Uh, Ms. Sebelius's performance thus far today? I think that her performance today has been very defensive. They are scrambling for answers. I asked her who was in charge. We never can figure out who's in charge. And she was saying, well, the CMS team. And then she pointed to Michelle Snyder and then she looped back around and said, blame me for this debacle. You know, so what we're trying to do is figure out who is responsible, how much money they've spent, and how far this mandate is going to reach. Is it true or false? If you like what you have, you can keep it. Ms. Blackburn, we always appreciate you being with us, and thank you very much sure. for today on a very busy and big day. Thank you very much, ma'am. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Judge?